started spinning in the mid 90s. My father was a Latin jazz musician, so from birth I had music, you know, in my underarm, behind my ear. Although people might know me initially for my hip hop uh, show with Stretch Armstrong in the 90s, where we introduced the world to Unsigned Nas, Biggie, Wu Tang, Mob Deep, Big Pun, you know, Big L, etc. But you know, I just love music, period. Yeah, I've DJed in 35 countries, so I've been fortunate enough to, to find a lot of rare records. You know, and luckily, Kevin Coolio, who co-directed the film with me, I mean, he loves music the way I do. The thing that Burrito and I wanted to, um, to show in, uh, to the basketball world, essentially, is that you don't have to put a hip hop track uh, all the time on a basketball video. The moving sport, like really entertaining. Yeah. Sometimes it can be like uh, um, similar to, to, to dancing. Pick a basketball in New York City is a rich environment. Uh, you can play against guys from Africa, from Asia, from France, from uh, Dakota, or whatever uh, in the States. And the music goes with that. I really wanted uh, the film to reflect you know, the entire diversity of New York. I wanted Latin music in the film, you know, from Colombia, from Puerto Rico. I wanted African music from South Africa, from West Africa. You know, I wanted uh, European music in the film, from Van Sill and D. Twice, you know, representing France. Most of the music in the film you talk about Akoya Afrobeat and Tato Torres Yerba Buena. I mean, these are independent artists that, like, nobody really has heard of outside of their, like, die-hard fans. You know, I've known so many people as a DJ and have helped out a lot of careers by playing music that wasn't released or by artists that were up and coming or independent releases. And so, you know, I guess I've put a lot of good energy and good karma in the community and it comes right back. So, you know, there were certain artists that were like, yo, who? You bugging? Like, you don't have to pay us. We will be honored to have our music in you and Kevin's film. You know, for the bigger name artists, like Eddie Palmieri, nine-time Grammy Award winner, you know, jazz master, and Eddie, amazingly, had never scored a film. Imagine that. Never been approached to uh, score a film. And so he loved the idea. He loves basketball. And so uh, Eddie was like, all on it, you know, like for real, like super happy. The film was made by a community of ball players. The score was made by a community of musicians. You know, it really was supportive and showed us a lot of love. Mm -hmm.